CFCs, also known as chlorofluorocarbon, due to their composure of carbon, chlorine, and fluorine. Examples of products that produce CFCs are pesticides, which don't only harm our atmosphere, but also our lithosphere. Aerosols and refrigerants, what are they? Aerosols are fine solid particles suspended in liquid and the propellant used in these are CFCs. Refrigerants are fluids used to cool or refrigerate products commonly used in fridges. Companies uh, realize that the amount of CFCs in their products were dangerously high, so nowadays aerosol and refrigerants use HFCs instead as they are a less damaging substitute. Anyways, the way CFCs harm our environment is by breaking down the stratosphere, which leads to chemicals like chlorine to directly attack the ozone layer. The ozone is a layer of the Earth's atmosphere which is made out of dry oxygen. Dry oxygen is also called ozone. Ozone is formed by an ozone molecule which is broken down by ultraviolet radiation which forms two ocean atoms. Each of these ocean atoms join a separate ocean molecule forming O3. The job of the ozone within the ocean layer is to absorb harmful rays from the sun. CFCs are responsible for decreasing the ocean layer. When the chlorofluorocarbon rift to the stratosphere, they begin to be broken down by the UV rays. The radiation releases the chlorine, which removes one ocean from the O3 equation, which turns the, o the ozone back to oxygen. When the ozone layer gets damaged, more and more UV rays are let through, as it cannot absorb as much radiation anymore, thus allowing the rays to hit the Earth directly. UV rays in their full effect can harm the skin and DNA of both plants and animals, as they contain very high levels of radiation. This can lead to widespread plant death and increased cancer rates. So now that you see that CFCs are extremely damaging to the ozone layer, and you know that UV rays cause all kinds of organic life to die, you'll probably want to know ways to reduce these harmful effects. Companies are becoming more and more aware of their CFC output. Therefore, they've been making more environmentally friendly alternatives. Instead of CFCs, companies have been using hydrochlorofluorine carbons, or HCFCs for short. And an even better alternative to this is hydrofluorocarbons, or HFCS for short. These are less damaging to the ozone, and you should choose products with these alternatives. In the end, we hope you know a little more about the ozone layer and how it gets depleted than you did before seeing this video. Thank you for watching.